Good morning. How's it going with you? Today is uh, Wednesday the 27th. This was the day of my daughter Ashley should have been graduating at the Harvard Business School, but that's not happening at some point in the future when things have settled down over in America. Um, I hope to be there on that huge day in her life. What a day that will be. Paul, the great apostle Paul, had a number of people that he mentored, people that he brought under his wing and taught and, and instructed them, showing them the way forward uh, in the world. One of them was Timothy. Now, Timothy was a very gentle soul. Uh, he was very able, and the call of God was upon this young guy to go out and serve him in a particular way, working with Paul. But Timothy was young, and he was very nervous about it. And Paul writes him a letter. In fact, he wrote several letters to Timothy. But in the second letter that Paul wrote to Timothy, he tells him, Timothy, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God that was given to you by me when I laid hands on you. That spirit is not the spirit of fear or timidity but the spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline, or self-mastery. Now this fits into our theme of God the Holy Spirit as God's empowering presence. Timothy didn't feel up to it. He was genuinely anxious. I guess there are many situations in our lives when we feel anxious about something, intimidated, and we back off because basically we're afraid. We're afraid of failure. We're afraid of a number of things. And then Paul comes to us as he came to Timothy of old and said, listen, fan into flame the gift of God that was given to you. It's the gift of God and it was given to you. Now I like to think of, of a fire that is almost gone. I used to spend, I still do whenever I have an opportunity, uh, going up to Mana Pools in Zimbabwe and you would uh, sit around a campfire there on the banks of the Zambezi River until late and then you'd go to bed. You might get up early and hear the hippos uh, honking in the, in, the, in the Zambezi. You'd go over to the fire just to see how it was doing and to all intents and purposes the fire was dead. But if you took a twig or a leaf and then a twig and blew you might find an ember that is still alive, a little tiny red glow. And the ember would light the leaf and you'd put another leaf and then another one. And then you'd put a, a little, little um, branch. And slowly but surely, this whole thing as you blew into it. And keep that in mind. As God says, just blow into that fire, or rather, let me blow into that fire that at times seems very weak and very feeble and very inadequate for some of the challenges that we face in life. Fan into flame the gift of God that was given to you when I laid hands on you because the Holy Spirit, the empowering presence of God, does not make you afraid gift of God is something that is powerful, is loving, and enables you to master yourself, self-mastery. So remember that today. Just a word from what Paul wrote to 2 Timothy, fan into flame the gift of God that was given to you. For the Spirit of God does not make you afraid, but empowers you, makes you a person who loves and helps you to master yourself. God be with you. We'll see you again tomorrow.